They believe somebody was, was, was hurt or was going to harm themselves. That's the rumor that was circulating among Crofton Middle School students Thursday after a teacher found a noose hanging from a light fixture that morning. 19-year-olds Connor Prout and John Averman are charged with hanging the noose at the school. Kids did not know the historical context behind it, but what they did know is something like that was wrong and it did not belong in school. For my seven-year-old son, I told him that there was a noose found here and that a noose is a symbol of hatred towards people of color. And that is a symbol that will not be tolerated here and that that's why we need to come out here and spread kindness. Students will be greeted with messages including love wins and Crofton is kind when they report to class Monday. We want to make sure that those messages of positivity and kindness and acceptance are far, far louder than the message that was sent by the hateful act that was committed here last Thursday. This really helps not only me, but everybody else, and it makes it makes us feel better inside. Love notes the Crofton community spent writing in chalk will eventually wash away. Nobody can divide us, and we're here to prove that. But the school's principal says the message will live on. We greet our kids with smiles. They greet us back with hugs and high fives and uh, encouraging messages. Our kids have already started that. They have been leaving sticky notes on lockers. And the school's principal sent home a letter to parents after the incident offering resources for students. Live in the newsroom tonight, Vanessa Herring, WBAL-TV 11 News.